Okay, I'm going to try something. I don't know if this will work or not. No, it's not going to work with that one. I'm going to try to make the panels out of the same uh, monster clay, and I'll make them triangular, and w one piece at a time, and press it in from the in inside to make the, uh, the uh, rest of the helmet, and then I'll fill it with clay. Time to play with some clay. All right, this is something I've never done before, so I'm kind of going into this blindly. But I may, I need to try to make out a pattern. And I'm going to use this uh, piece of rolled out monster clay as a measuring device. Okay. I got to have a slight curve to it. need to okay that's the bottom part and so I need to make one for the top part because it changes I can't just measure it because it'll come out short I got to do it by the curve This is, this is going to work or not. I think what I need to do is pick it up. And maybe put this inside. Somehow. I need to... Cut off a little bit of it. Ah. Might have cut, cut off too much, but I don't know. Ah, oh, there we go. This is just an experiment. I don't know if it's going to work or not. But I'm willing to try anything once. Alright. Now. Need to take it out. Okay. My magnifier is on. It's hard for me to see those fine lines. There you go, I can see it now. All right. I'm going to cut just outside of it because I want to be able to attach it to the uh, helmet and let it stay there. I 
I'm sure this is the same way that they made the panels for the uh, original helmets too. about that no that didn't quite match it let me get it over a little bit and I'll stretch it out a little bit I'm gonna backfill it with clay so I'm not worried about it filling perfectly but just getting it enough to Give me a uniform look between these. Uh, All right, what I'm doing is I'm rolling out clay supports to be rivets on this helmet. Now, they, I was going to use uh, the monster clay, but it's just not sticky enough to uh, react uh, to my making these rivets. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a second. This is uh, the rivets I'm talking about, and uh, got three on each one of these panels, and a whole bunch on the, that one, so I'm not going to count them. I'm just, I think I'm just going to do the best I can. I've put some scars into the uh, helmet. There's a... Of course, a dent there, a swipe there, and a sword swipe there that's uh, cut in, into the metal a little bit. So I, to say that he's had his head banged around would be an understatement. <laughs> Let's see if that works out. Okay. Now, the reason I rolled it out in a thin tube is to make each of the rivets as close to the same size as I can. All right, I'll come back after I get this uh, done. All right, I'm just putting the final... <laughs> the, the clay that I rolled out was perfect for all these uh, rivets. And the reason there are so many on the, each side is because these are panels that are put in, metal panels, and they wanted to uh, have that as well riveted as it possibly could be to protect a man's head. I don't know why they put so few on the bottom, but they did. Anyway, I'm going to put the finishing touches on this. And uh, I got a few holes to fill. 
and I'll do that with my JMAC. Since I'm going to be painting the clay, it's all going to work out just fine. I'm sorry this is all there was today, but it had to be done. Might as well do it now. Okay. You figure he's going to be in his 70s, and for him to survive that long is a miracle in itself. But that would make the helmet very old. And uh, if you don't know what I'm doing, a long time ago I had uh, paint mixed up to be the same color as uh, the clay and the way I did that I took uh, a sample of the clay to a hardware store where they sold paint and I had them match the color of the uh, clay and that's the uh, it's a paint that uh, is a house paint indoor house paint uh, water soluble and uh, it's a flat finish. This will be the last thing I do tonight. Painting the clay just makes it less less questions uh, when people see a picture of the clay or the uh, yeah the clay of the uh, piece they'll say why is that different color and uh, this just takes away that question it goes on rather bright <clears throat> much brighter than the original clay but it dries uh, to be more like the clay And even if it is a little bit the brighter, it's better than having it blue. <laughs> I'm 
I got this sitting on top of a, a skull that I bought from anatomytools.com. It fit it perfectly, so I just figured it gets it off the uh, board and I can paint it and uh, let it dry up here. So that's the helmet. And uh, that's going to be it for today. And uh, if you uh, like the video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you want to follow my videos, click the subscribe button and the bell to get uh, updates on my videos. All right. Good night, everybody. And I'll see you next time.